transformation of the low mom bed frame with no underneath the bed storage to a high bed mom bed frame with underneath the bed storage. Oh, and a cushioned headboard as well. We bought this bed frame, uh, I think like eight years ago. It's been a while. I don't believe Ikea sells the mom low bed anymore because I didn't see it when we went to Ikea. So when we got these drawers, it um, we knew it was too tall. So we hacked it to uh, raise the bed to make it fit. And we also got this head board. I was about to say head bed head, like the curling iron or the crimper. But anyways, we got this head board. It's cushioned. But first we painted everything white. I think we had like matte white paint and we used the foam roller to start. And then afterwards we used the spray paint so that everything can look even. And this spray paint is a satin white so it gives like a like a like a little glow. See, look at this glow. This is the finished one. These are the bed frames on the side. And this is my husband spray painting. It looks really good, you guys. And these are our nightstands. We also painted this white because it was black also. Since our headboard is gray and it's a dark gray and our curtains are dark, I wanted contrast and for it to also match the white drawers that we got. We also purchased this Hemnes cabinet for our wall on this side it was empty and it would provide like a really nice organization on that side so yeah now the music begins This headboard comes with two steel thingies to attach it to your bed frame but this headboard is not for this mom bed frame so my husband hacked it and used those two brackets to screw it onto the original headboard that comes with the mom bed and we just rested it on the sides of the bed as you see there. A little fun tip if you have a power strip and we definitely have that on both sides of our bed we have a speaker charger, phone chargers, a laptop charger, and we screwed it on the side of the bed. It just looks awesome and you don't have to look for it or have it fall because previously I just had it resting on the side of my bed frame and it just kept falling and oh, it, it was not cool. But I really love this idea and I think I want to put something in between there to kind of hide it. I don't know. Maybe like a little basket to put the cords in. I don't know. This is the finished nightstand. The glass top was black, but since we painted the nightstand white, it just makes it gray. And I love how it just matches the room theme that I wanted. That bunny was so funny. My daughter just puts random stuffed animals everywhere. And this is how it looks like. See, that is a 2x4, and I don't know how many feet wide that is, but it was added on the bottom. And... It lifted it just enough so that the drawer it can fit under the bed and it's awesome I really love this there's nothing on the floor you guys and this nightstand does um, not allow the drawer over there to open it all the way but on this side I'm just putting stuff that I might or might not need all the time like maybe need so but you can still take them out I can take out my backpack I can take out my karaoke microphone and whatever else in there that is like eventful I guess you know because I don't know I'm not gonna even need my big bag every day but yeah anyway and then on this side I have things that I use like every day like that's my Nintendo Switch maybe some Animal Crossing with my kids my laptop and then the laptop lap table the Hello, it's Hello Kitty, isn't it sweet? And just other stuff like my uh, external hard drive, just just random stuff that I use every day. And 
these drawers do come in a two pack so basically it's thirty dollars for one drawer but it comes in a two pack so it's sixty dollars they also have it in a birch color a black and a gray the gray looks so cool all right now i'm just gonna ramble a little bit so you see all this gray shades in our bedroom and i love my color theme but my room is not done yet i still want to do an accent color i want to put like beige over there because my blanket is beige i want to match it with pops of colors here and there and there like a basket but yeah i think it's gonna look so nice it's gonna make it look very comfortable with my beige side and the gray side now see can you just imagine how that would look i would love that i need to go to home goods or hobby lobby or tj maxx and just also maybe like a rug underneath there black and white maybe or cream and black i don't know and <laughs> this is how the wall looks like i love how it looks it's so nice i plan to put like a leaf plant over there and then on the side i want to put baskets like a maybe wicker basket maybe not uh maybe a wood colored basket there and then on the other side, I am not sure. We will see. This is actually a shoe cabinet, you guys. But there's no way I'm putting shoes in this nice cabinet. So this stuff is for my husband's stuff that he uses all the time. This side is the his favorite hats that he likes to wear for the time being. And I really like how it can fit there. Isn't that look cool? And on this side, he puts his bag, like his man bag. It's not in here right now, obviously, because my husband's at work. But I just wanted to show you guys this is the um, area he puts his uh, bag in. And then on the bottom, it's extra stuff. Like there's some tools over there that he might need. And then a to-go bag. I'm not quite sure what's in there, but packing cubes are the best, you guys. And then on this side, um, more extra stuff that he sometimes uses. I'm not quite sure what those are. But I love this cabinet because it's so compact. It doesn't take up much walking space. There's nothing on the floor. I can walk in and out and it just looks so cool. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed these ideas and the transformation from the low bed to the high bed with the drawers underneath. It's awesome. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!